I'm Dante Ferretti, I'm the production designer for the Vietor. He's a master craftsman of what he does, so you know what you're going to get when you hire a Dante Ferretti, and you know you're going to get the best. I did um, six movies with Martin Scorsese. For me, Martin is like my hero. He teaches me a lot of things. Also, he trusts me a lot, and uh, we spend uh, always a lot of time in the beginning of the movie, and uh, he tells me exactly what he likes. I make my proposal, I get, you know, now it's a little bit like a, a marriage, but uh, without, I hope, without divorce. <laughs> when Martin called me for the Vieto, you know, I said, oh my God, you know, I'm an Italian, I came from Italy. I dreamed always uh, this period at Hollywood, the most glamour, moment in Hollywood in the 30. Dante did a lot of work on creating these huge sets in which Howard would build these gigantic planes, and he remade a lot of these planes which don't exist anymore. The Spruce Goose we built from scratch in full size. And there's no cheating there. There was no special effects, no CGI, no cameras cheating. Everything was real. He made the most lavish art deco office for one trip, Alec Baldwin's character in the movie, unlike anything I've ever seen. It was basically represented of the top of the Chrysler building. For one trip, I did design this um, big uh, room, and I put all the stars on the sky. I showed this to Marty. Marty loved the idea, and this is what we did. Panama was in the sky, and we were surrounded by all the stars. I'm in the stairway to paradise with a new step every day. The coconut grove, which really represents the changing of the times in, in our film. You go from the 20s to the 30s and the 40s and you see how the club develops and changes. We rebuilt this um, set here in Montreal and we built very fast, almost only in four weeks. I, I have had a lot of research, a lot of photo in detail, so and then I put also some of myself inside. He's such a perfectionist to where every little detail has to be just right. That as a producer, it drives you crazy. You know, there's 600 lamp shades in the coconut grove, and one of them's not right. We got to stop. So he makes it right. You know, and I'm, no one's going to even see it, but it's got to be right. I spoke with Martin. We, he, Martin, always suggests, you know, the first period it's only two colors. Forget the blue because the blue became a green. When I start to print in Technicolor, it became much uh, uh, sharp, the color, you know, very rich. So if you see the coconut grove in the first period, in the 30, it's, uh, uh, it's completely different if you see in the 40, when Juan Trip met uh, Howard Hughes in the coconut grove. It's two different colors. In one side, in the first time, we don't have the blue. The second time, we have the blue. What are your colors? Stop fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jung's house, uh, the real place, I went to see the real house, so we're recreating everything in the stage. Uh, we, build a, uh, we did uh, with the same shape, because something specific. We, we rebuild a little bit bigger, always bigger, bigger. 500,000 people are crowding the streets to get a glimpse of the stars and celebrities. And Grumman Chinese Theater is completely built on the back lot. We did the interiors here at the Grauman Theatre, but the exterior we rebuilt completely up in Montreal. Because now everything has changed. They're also missing the palms in the middle of the courtyard, but the entrance with all this new new stand and you know everything has changed now. It was much better than the tour. To, to restart, uh, to rebuild. That is what we did. When Harvey came over there, he said, oh my God, this is beautiful. He said, it's the same size. I said, no, it's one foot more. <laughs> he said, why? Because I said, I'm more megalominion than you. <laughs> it's true. 
I was like, for example, like uh, uh, 70 feet, I did the 71. <laughs> it's my life. You know, I like to recreate something which I would like to be. I like to recreate the dreams. I like to put also some of myself inside. In this case, it's like an actor. When you know, when you want an actor want to play, I don't know, on a character, I have to study the character. In this case, I have to study the period, and then I don't like to copy the period, but to be part of the period. So I have more freedom, more fantasy. The most important thing when you make this job, when the, the audience got to see the movie and believe in what is on the screen. This is my passion, as I choose to be a, a production designer.